Good morning, ma'am. I'm Ariza May El Miranda, BSN 3B. And for today's topic, I will be presenting pleuradesis. So what is pleuradesis? Pleuradesis is a procedure that causes the membranes around the lungs to stick together and prevents the buildup of fluid in the space between the membranes or pleural space. Pleuradesis is done in cases of severe recurrent pleural infusions or out of pharynx of fluid around the lungs to prevent the accumulation of the fluid. During pleuradesis, an irritant is stilled inside the pleural space in order to create inflammation that tugs the two pleura together. This procedure thereby permanently obliterates the space between the pleura and prevents the accumulation of fluid. And for the purpose of pleuradesis, you may need pleuradesis if you have a recurring collapsed lungs or pneumothorax or an ongoing buildup of fluid around your lungs or pleural infusion. Normally, you have a little bit of fluid in the pleural cavity, the space between your chest wall and lungs. When there's too much fluid in the space, your lungs can't properly expand. A variety of conditions can cause extra fluid to collect in the pleural cavity including heart failure, pneumonia, tuberculosis, cancer, liver and kidney disease, inflammation of the pancreas, rheumatoid arthritis. The buildup of fluid can cause symptoms like pain, coughing, and shortness of breath. In pleuralysis, your doctor injects a medicine such as a tox mixture into the space between your lungs and chest wall. There are a variety of substances that can be used. The medicine irritates and inflames the tissue, producing a scar tissue that makes the lung stick to the chest wall. By adhering the lung to the chest wall, pleurodesis eliminates the space where fluid or air could collect. It also helps to keep the lung inflated. For side effects and outlook, you might feel some pain or soreness in the area where the chest tube was placed for a few days. The soreness may get worse when you take a deep breath. Other possible side effects include fever, shortness of breath, and infection. Check the wood daily and call your doctor if you have increased redness, swelling, or pain around the incision site. Pause draining from the wound, a lot of bleeding, a fever over 39 degrees Celsius. Your outlook depends on what condition causes you to need pleurodesis. The long-term outlook for people with pneumothorax who are treated with this procedure is good. With improvements in lung function in small studies, pleurodesis had success rates of around 75-80% to 80 in people with pleural infusion not caused by cancer. Next is potential complication. Risks for the procedure include infection, a collection of pus in the pleural space, fever, pain. If you also have a thoracoctomy, possible complication can include collapsed lung, injury to the chest wall, arteries or lungs, blood clots, a tube that moves out of the place. Pleuralysis is generally an effective procedure. However, there's a small chance that the procedure won't work and you will need to undergo another surgery. And if you have pleuradesis with thoracostomy or thoracoscopy, it will be done in an operating room under anesthesia. During the procedure, you will get medicine to prevent pain and relax you. The doctor will use a local anesthetic to numb the area of your chest where the incision will be made. That area of skin will also be sterilized. The doctor will make a small incision and insert a camera for surgery or a narrow tube called a chest tube. The, the fluid will be drained into the collection bag. Once the fluid has been drained, talc powder, doxycilin, or another medicine will be injected into the pleural space through the chest tube. The medicine will coat the outside of your lung and create a sticky surface that makes it adhere to the chest wall. The doctor might do an x-ray to confirm that the procedure was successful. A possible alternative to this procedure is a catheter placement. It allows you to go home with a tube much smaller than a chest tube and also constantly drains. Your doctor can discuss the pros and cons of the catheter versus the above procedure. Here is what you should do after your procedures. First, don't grab the wound. This can slow your healing. Next, don't put any ointment, lotion, or powder to the incision. Don't take a bath, swim, or sit in a hot tub until the incision has fully healed. Don't take non steroid anti-inflammatory drug for at least 7 days after pleuradesis. 
These drugs can prevent the lung surface from sticking together as your doctor that medicine you can take instead to control your pain. Don't leave objects that weigh more than 10 pounds until you get approval from your doctor. Avoid straining or holding your breath. And if you will only have fluoridesis, it may be done in your hospital room. During a fluoridesis procedure, you will get medicine to control your pain and relax you. The chosen medication for fluoridesis will be injected into your chest via a tube. You may need to change position about once every 10 minutes or so to ensure the medicine reaches every part of your chest cavity. Lastly, for recovering from pleurodesis, the chest tube will stay in place for 24 to 48 hours or until your lungs has stuck to your chest cavity. If you had a surgical procedure, you may have to stay in the hospital for a few days. You will get regular x-rays to check your progress. After the chest tube is removed, you will need to keep the wound clean. Wash it every day with a mild soap and pat it dry. You may notice some drainage from the wound for a day or two. Keep a bandage over it until it stops draining. Change the dressing at least every day. Follow all wound care and follow up instructions given to you. And these are the some example pictures of fluoridesis and chest x-rays. Pleuridesis is a procedure that uses medicine to adhere your lung to your chest wall. It seals up the space between the outer lining of your lungs and chest wall or fluoral cavity to prevent fluid or air from continually building up around your lungs. That's all. Thank you for listening. Again, this is Ariza May L. Miranda, BSN Freebie, presenting Pleuridesis.